Greetings. Let's talk for a minute. So we're all going back to the SCA in person. We're all going to start enjoying in-person events. And we're going to start seeing a lot of what we used to see and a lot of new faces. And there's a little bit of etiquette I'd like to talk about. And it really kind of starts with this. What is this, you say? Well, I don't know. It sure looks like a book, wouldn't you say? It opens like one. Um, my particular one has a tail, which this is going to tuck into my belt and let me wear it. For those who don't know me, this is a girdle book. Uh, it's a piece of um, 12th century, I believe it was actually 13th to 14th century, rather, fashion. Um, very, very uh, conspicuous, very expensive option. Um, but a uh, very, very powerful fashion statement. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about this. Mine is used as a mobile phone carrier, a mundanity cover, so that other people don't need to see my phone when I'm using it. Now, why is this important? Well, let's be honest. I can't tell you how many times I've looked at pictures of an event and there's a court or there's a gathering. Something important is going on. And lo and behold, you know, you, the camera, this picture is taken and there's someone in the middle. And just off to the side, you've got someone holding their phone out like this, taking a picture. And of course, it's usually against a solid background, so the light of the screen is this glaring box breaking up the image. I've seen photographs that I frankly consider to be ruined. You have seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars worth of costuming in this photograph. There's a fifteen hundred, two thousand dollar pavilion framing it. Someone is receiving their first award or being taken as a student or receiving a, uh, uh, a title championship. Sure enough, front row, right there, is someone holding their phone out screen on full blast trying to get the right picture. And I will be honest with you, it's not polite, it's not appropriate, and I find it to be downright insulting because it is distracting from the rest of our event. And it is ru anyone behind them trying to take a picture, the image is ruined. Now, am I saying don't take pictures? No. But there's an etiquette to using your mobile phone. First of all, first of all, most importantly, dim your screen. I'm not saying take it down to black, but you have the ability to control your screen brightness. You don't have to read everything. This doesn't need to be optimal. But dim the screen so it's not so much light shooting off. You can see the difference. That in and of itself takes a large amount of the, the distraction away. Now, I have a black cell phone cover to protect my phone. Some people use different colors. That's fine. You can use whatever color you want. Consider for an event using a neutral color, black or brown, something that doesn't glare. Hello Kitty 2012. True story, by the way. Um, also, how are you holding your phone? This is great, you know, holding it out here to get that perfect photograph, you know, doing this so you can see what's on the frame, that's fine on the street in the modern day. But we need to be a little more considerate of what's around us. Hold your phone close to your chest. Look down. That way, really, someone has to be looking over your shoulder to see what you're doing. And your, your own body is now a mundanity cover for anyone behind you. So, you know, take... Take a moment, get the image right, snap the picture. You can look down, you know, that's okay. Or you can do this. You know, the lens is fine. Know where your lens is, like mine is off to one end, so if I want a centered photograph, I'm gonna be like right here. And you can see, and you can snap your picture. I understand flashes happen at night, but I'm encouraging you to find out what the full capabilities of your camera is, or are, for multiple cameras. What the full capabilities are for low light photography. 
I was actually surprised at how much detail my standard Samson phone could pick up with no lights on. I've actually gotten some really good event photographs on this with no flash and no lights. Look at your equipment. If you don't need to use a flash, don't. If you need to, okay, you looked, you tried. But having a, a professional flash, a detached standalone flash, or a clip-on light to a camera going like a sunstrobe um, five feet from a court or ten feet from a protege ceremony, true stories both, is distracting and it detracts from everyone else's experience in the event. Now, am I, am I trying to vilify people that take these photographs? No. Please understand, I have a problem with the byproduct of the activity, but I am not trying to say you are bad. I'm not trying to say you need to stop. What I am saying is that there are people who are acting in good faith who just haven't had it explained to them that, hey, check these things, consider these options. You can probably get the same photographs for the same quality and possibly even better angles um, without being a distraction or a detraction from the rest of the people's experience at the event. So, um, you have your cell phone, you want to take it to an event, that's fine. But please, consider what this device, just like anything else you wear, anything else you do, that interacts with the event around you. What you want to do is you want to consider how am I adding or detracting to other people's experience at this event. And I'm here to tell you, pulling out your phone with a bright yellow Hello Kitty cover and checking your email in the middle of a class or the middle of a dinner or lunch circle or the middle of a conversation, that's going to rip people out of the moment. And that's what we want to try and avoid. And I don't care if someone else is doing it. That's on someone else. If everyone else at the table is doing it, okay, I get it. It's frustrating. But I'm asking you to consider not being one of those, to, to make every effort to add to the event's medieval ambiance. And then, am I saying you can't check your email? No. But there's a difference between one minute and, here, just one second. I mean, just the, the, the visual of me looking down in something that's out of view, I could be looking at a book for all you know. I could be, I could be looking at some piece of art I'm doing. Just that consideration of this is not in view right in the middle of your face. That's what we need to strive for. Am I picking on cell phones a lot? Yes, I am, because I think that they are very common, and I think that a lot of people don't put, thought, don't put a lot of thought into some simple ways of, of hiding them. But there's plenty of other things that do this as well. And last but not least, I think uh, the one thing a lot of people don't do mute the phone. Um, if you're someone who does not, if you're, if you're not concerned about phone calls coming in at all, just turn off all sound completely and you can only, in that way you only have to deal with it when you're looking at it. But if you're concerned about, you know, a message from your spouse or a child or you, you need to be able to receive messages, just turn on vibrate and if nothing else, slide this thing into your pocket. Um, now if you want to go the route I did and make a mundanity cover. This is like my fourth or fifth girdle book, so please don't hold this up as some I have to make that. No. But if you want to make some sort of mundanity cover for it, you can you know, knock yourself out, do some research. I think the easiest thing to do is to buy one of those fake books from like book boxes from a big box store or craft supplier. And then you can put a little bit of foam in there and just then your phone's in there and you can be, you can be checking your email in court. And as long as no one's looking right over your shoulder, they have no idea what you're doing. So, any event, that's my little rant for this. Um, I want to try and put that out there that it's okay to have your phone. It's okay to check your message. It's okay to take photographs. But there's a right way to do it. There's a considerate way to do it. And I want to make sure that people understand that and that we start doing it more. So, thank you. God bless. And uh, I'll see you at the next event.